who would be affected by the reform have rallied. They are calling for justice throughout Congress. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle was at the rally where advocates support the president's executive action. This executive order is number 194 for Obama. I can't wait for them to have this great feeling that I've had for the last year and a half. We've been fighting this battle. We're finally making some headway. It's much more than a number to these advocates. I went and talked to my mom who was still sleeping, so I, you know, kind of just gave her a big hug and she was surprised. With the executive order, she says her mother and father don't have to keep looking over their shoulder. The rally was held in front of House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy's office to send a message. Open your doors to us. We are your constituents. We, we need some kind of relief for the rest of them as well, and that's up to Congress. Republicans resorted to Twitter to send a message of their own. Texas Governor Rick Perry tweeted there is no time for political grandstanding. Junior Texas Senator Ted Cruz said Obama's, quote, unconstitutional amnesty is in defiance of Congress and the American people. We've had presidents that have given executive orders on immigration, so this is nothing new. So far, President Obama has signed fewer executive orders than his immediate predecessors. Bill Clinton signed 364 and George W. Bush signed 291. I no longer have fear of when someone knocks on the door that it's, you know, going to be immigration. This order will allow Paola and her family to travel for the first time. I think taking a family trip out of state will probably be one of the first things that we do. And possibly let her father start his dream of running a construction business. Cassie Carlisle, 23, ABC.